sometimes being a winner is based on what you're willing to learn along the way. This video is about a guy named Dawat Mutang, and he has a funny name because he's not an adventure racer. He's a farmer from a tiny little village in the middle of the jungle in Borneo, where we started this race. But he became an adventure racer on this day totally by accident. There was a French team that had taken second place the year before. They were coming back to win. And on their way walking to the start line, one of their teammates broke his ankle. I know, so what the heck do you do? Right? They, well, they had to discuss it. Do we start unranked? Do we already start unranked? Or do we knock on the six huts in this jungle and try to find a guy to come race with us? So they start knocking on the huts. Third door opens, and they quickly assess that this man will fit the available Lycra outfit. <laughs> and so <laughs> they're begging him to come out and put on the blue pants and this backpack, and they're telling him to kiss your family goodbye because we're all going to be gone for a few days. We're all going to go do this thing together. And bless this guy's heart, he's never heard adventure racing. He's never seen a map. He's never seen a compass. He doesn't know these people. He doesn't speak a word of French. They don't speak a word of English. He's never been in a boat, and he's never ridden a bicycle in his entire life. And he's lining up to the start line of the toughest adventure race on earth with a team with whom he can't even communicate. The start of the race is moments away. Intersport heads to the starting line with Dawat Mutang, a 35 year old farmer and father of three. Not, not exactly what, I don't know what exactly is going to happen, but I, I'm completely trying to walk it with a team. Up ahead, the front teams have reached the river. Intersport has fallen from second place to ninth, and they don't expect to make up any time in this leg. Remember, Dawat has never ridden in a canoe. Not only did he survive the canoe ride, but now, at the age of 35, Dawat has learned to ride the bike for the first time in his life. Incredibly, Dawat's team covered the 50-mile mountain bike leg in just 20 hours. It is almost midnight, day four. Dawat prepares for this final leg. And like the canoe and bike ride before, he has never been inside a cave, never repelled, never used climbing gear. Dawat Mutang's incredible journey is complete. When I get back home, probably, if I talk to my village, probably people won't believe that something so fantastic that we did here. And uh, really amazing. How awesome is that? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Second place. Second place out of 63 teams. And I know there were 63 teams because we were 63rd. <laughs> but I love Dawat so much because it's such an incredible message about being a winner, that sometimes being a winner isn't necessarily based on what you know going into a project or what you knew starting your company. But sometimes being a winner is based on what you're willing to learn along the way. And very often, we're so afraid of change or challenge or doing something new. But I'm always inspired by Dawat because with the right courage, and with your background and experience and the right team around you, you can jump off that cliff and know that your wings are gonna grow on the way down, right?